was on the phone the other day placing an order for something and the person on the other line misgendered me. <laughs> Greetings and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Well, I've got another reaction video for you this week. As a person who has literally been misgendered all my life, or at least since the age of 19 or so, I believe I can speak on the subject. I am not now, nor have I ever been or wanted to transition to anything. I am female. Well, I did want a smaller nose, but that's not the same thing. I've been misgendered over the phone. I've been misgendered through drive through windows. I've been misgendered on ABL show even. If you'd follow ABL and, and if you ever see me get on his show, you will look in the chat and nobody seems to know what I am. Even though he, even sometimes when he doesn't even put me up on the screen because I Skype him. Hell, I was doing a biker show on stage one time and this guy literally had the gall to come up to me in front of my boyfriend at the time and ask me how long I had been a woman. Of course, I had to hold my boyfriend back after that intrusive question. But first, my first question back to him was why, why he thought that was any of his business. Then I messed with him a bit and then I asked him, why are you that attracted that you just had to know? Of course, he turned a little bit red by that time. And then I just told him, ain't no doctor in the world going to put a body like this together. It's all God, honey. At one time, I was a fitness instructor and a race walking marathon runner. So back then, I was pretty tight. But yeah, I've been misgendered all my life. A lot of folks think I'm trans even now. I get treated, I get treated real strangely sometimes and you can tell the questioning look. Just ask any drag queen. You don't have to be a trans for that. I'll start this off by saying that if you don't learn to love yourself, ain't nobody else gonna love you either. So now we have sort of another type of Karen situation, if you will. Only this time, it's a trans person who probably doesn't really do anything but dress the part and quite poorly, from what I could tell. Uh, she would never win Drag Race, that's for sure. Don't try standing in front of RuPaul with that outfit, I'm just saying. Folks like this, I don't care how they identify. It doesn't matter. Folks like this piss me off. Once again, you've got someone poking your fing their finger in your face, telling you how bad you are because you made a human mistake. And of course, it really pissed me off even more because this person actually even admits that their transformation is not official, like to the tune of their dead name is still on their driver's license. And I'm pretty sure they probably haven't had bottom surgery either. But this person still expected these minimum wage workers, which are probably teenagers, to snap to and just by osmosis or something, automatically know their transformation preferences. Let's watch the after video because I still have yet to see any video of what this person is actually claiming. Why you want to record me? Because okay. your entire staff has been okay. calling me sir. Okay. okay, so why record him? Why not record the staff doing this? You would be way more credible. Okay, uh, do you want to park? Uh, why don't you tell me what we can do now? No, because I can do this. You're the one with the problem. Why are you looking at him for advice on this? Why are you asking him to do this? He really doesn't know what you want. Can you tell by his look on his face? Look at this guy's face. He's like, what do you want from me right now? And the fact that you won't tell him makes it even more frustrating. Know what you want. Same thing with you. Okay, okay? but your entire staff has been calling me sir. The Prove it. Prove it. Entire time. Okay. What about me looks like a sir right now? 
I don't know. <laughs> Again, he's making this poor guy guess. Why would you do that? If you're that confident in what you are, tell him what you are and move on. Look, I'm sorry and I apologize for what happened. Okay, if they did that or, oh, I mean, uh, why, I mean I'm sorry. What else can I tell you? I mean, now. Exactly. What else do you want from this man? You got an apology. He's being sincere. He doesn't know what else you want from him. He probably doesn't have any idea what, what the hell you even are trying to be. A lot of people don't know anything about this. What else can I tell you? What? If you're a... Um, uh, can we please move to the if side? If I'm a what? Can you please move to the side? If I'm a what? Sounds like she's looking for a fight now. If I'm a what? What did you say? What? 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 If they call you a sir, I don't know what they did then. Because they saw the name on my credit card and- Ah! So you admit you don't even have the name that you want to be called on your credit card. But you expect everybody to just know. I'm sorry. It doesn't work that way. They were being- They were not being nice people. Well, I mean- well, that doesn't warrant you having to go to the manager. What were they not nice about? They mistaked your identity? Holy crap. Get over yourself. That's all your name on the card card. What do, you want, what, do you want, what do you want them to tell you? That has nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with it. You're the one with the problem. You're standing here telling him, tell me something, do something for me. Your, your staff has done this. He asks you what and it's like, oh, I don't know. I just, put it this way, he just wants you to let him stand there and start, ye keep yelling at you until he's satisfied. That's what it is. He wants you to stand there and take his crap until he's done with you. Period. That's all it is. If you don't bow down, if you don't, you know, how many times can a person say I'm sorry? It's like telling a person thank you 30,000 times. What do you want from this guy? There could be someone in the back that they don't see. Could be. My arm could fall off right now. Guess what? Nobody thinks like that. That's paying. Okay, now. So why would they intentionally do that? Can you... Look at the look of exasperation. Pure exasperation on this poor guy's face. He's like, lady, look, I've, I've apologized to you. What do you want? Do you want free food? At that point, I would have said, look, do you want a refund? What do you want? Tell me what you want or else you're wasting my time at this point. I have a job to do. Tell me what your location has done to be trans competent. Why should he be accountable to you for that? And what is trans competent? What is trans competent? He, again, another thing, he probably has absolutely no idea what you're talking about because you just made that up. Look, okay, like I tell you, we don't need to discriminate anybody in here, okay? I'm so sorry if you feel discriminated. No, 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 it's not that I feel, it's that I was. No, you weren't. Did they deny you of your uh, dinner? Did they deny you anything because of what you are? They made a simple misgender mistake. They didn't discriminate against you. Discrimination would have been if they'd have told you to get the hell out of their store because they don't serve people like you. That's discrimination discriminated against. I would like you to promise me that you will stop treating trans people this way. What? <laughs> Again, why does he have to be accountable to you? Are you going to go back and check and make sure this promise is being honored? <laughs> Give me a break. Promise me. Okay, he promises you. And then what? You're going to sit there and verify it for the rest of your life? How I'm training you? I'm training you back? And I, am I doing it? Your staff. Your name and the credit card. Yeah, again, prove it. He's being as absolutely nice as he can be. And basically all you want to do is stand there and yell at him. That's all you want. You want to be able to sit there and let him listen to you. What a coward. What a coward. Your staff did this, so you're going to stand there and take my punishment. And promise me this and promise me that. Once again, who the fuck do you think you are? It's a feminine name? No. Exactly. Then I ding, 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 ding! I'm discriminating. Yes. 
No, they not. are. Because no, it, someone else could be paying. What difference does that make? My sexuality, whatever it is, and I feel confident of who I am. I'm not what talking I am. about sexuality. Yeah, mean. see, that's what I mean. Anytime you say anything back to them. I'm not talking about this. You don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. Just shut up and listen to me. Just tell me you don't even talking. know what we're talking about. So how can you tell me I don't know what I'm talking about? Because you don't. We're talking about gender identity. And who cares? We're talking about sexuality. Okay, to me. You're at Sonic. You should be right. talking about burgers and fries. Okay? Okay. So, what are you? So I can call you a sir or a man. What are you? What would you assume looking at me? Don't make me guess. He just asked you a question. Don't make him guess. Why would you make him guess? You want this stuff so bad, but you're not going to tell him what you want? Oh, you people don't make any friggin' sense to me at all. What are you? What would you assume looking at me? Stop making people guess! This is the problem! Had you not made people guess, you wouldn't be in this case in the first place. You wouldn't be in this predicament, you wouldn't be going through all of this crap in the first place had you not made people try to guess what you are, and then wait for them to be wrong. I assume that you're a man. Okay? Yeah, me too. A man dressed as a woman, and again, not very well. Shame on you for trying to be me. Okay. Passability equals my safety. No, passability equals people actually gendering you the way that you want to be gendered. Nobody hit you. Nobody ho did anything bad to you. Nobody, you know, you don't have any black eyes. Nobody shot you. Nobody assaulted you. They misgendered you because you don't even, you're not even official yet. Get over yourself. Now, was all of this really, really necessary? Now, don't get me wrong. I have the utmost respect for everyone and anyone, especially that finds and displays their full freak. Really, I do. I've been there. I'm, I know myself. I know my limitations. It's, it's, it's very uh, freeing when you find yourself and you know exactly how you want to be and what you want in life, period. That's all I can tell you about that. It's all based on each individual's experience. But... However, I should not have to be responsible for everyone else's personal feelings or even their well-being about it. That's up to you. And don't you dare try to make me pay for it by some big government mandate or something. I got my own problems and I'm not responsible for yours. How would you like it if I made you responsible for my problems? You think you're the only person on earth that's been discriminated or against or treated badly? I think not. not. To mention the fact you need to learn that when you put yourself out there, there are going to be some people that will not accept you. If you accept yourself and you're that confidence with yourself, that won't matter. Trust me. It won't. Do your thing, but be real about it. Don't try to live in a fantasy land that everybody on the planet has to accept you. Even if you were just plain Jane or not doing anything, nobody on the planet is required to accept you. Get over yourself. It was almost like you wanted this guy to like kneel down to you. He said he was sorry three times. What else do you want? I truly, truly hope for your happiness. I hope for everybody's happiness. It's a choice though. But truly, you cannot do anything about what people think of you. You can't. You just can't do it. When you try, you get crapola like this. Only you can do that. So if you are that insecure about yourself, to the point of where strangers who probably don't have any clue nor care what you're going through make you this nuts, you need help. You need help either trying to find yourself, find your true self to the point of where no one else's opinion matters, even your own mother, or to the point of finding what really does work for you so you can get to that point where no one else's opinion matters, or slip ups, or anything like that. Now, here's a couple of ways to stop this utter nonsense. Aside from the fact that these folks deal is not anyone else's business and perhaps calling that out, not to mention that no one really cares as long as you ain't in their face demanding that they repeat after you. 
start being ready to call their bluffs. Most of the time, they catch people by surprise because there actually is so few of them out there in the population compared to the population. But yeah, you can yell back, well, I'm cisgender or whatever you want to be. And you're making me feel uncomfortable by not respecting my being and how I feel and what you are doing to me now, harassing me for some slight you can't even prove. You're invading my safe space by not calling me by my preferred nouns. Or you better promise me that you'll treat cis and people different than you better or I'm going to keep yelling at you too. It does nothing, but then again, the promise that this idiot wanted to, the manager to make would do absolutely nothing either. And was this person planning on coming back, literally, to make sure that the promise was enforced? I have a new old name for these bullies. They're called assholes. And assholes only understand one thing, obviously, or they wouldn't be constantly spewing their mantras constantly, constantly, constantly like they do to themselves. Not to mention, and I haven't heard anybody say anything about this, but they are so worried about this all the time. This white woman, if you will, who at this point can be considered a Karen, was being racist against this Hispanic manager. So there! How does that feel? You're a bigot now, too. Now go get some counseling and leave these poor folks alone. If you really were that serious about this shit, you wouldn't be harassing blue-collar kids at their first jobs. You absolute coward! You'd be yelling at and picketing your leaders and your advocates. I do know that folks like you have quite a few people in power at this time now. Seems you'd be bothering them for more acceptance, not lecturing and threatening some dude who just wants to finish his shift and get the hell home from his minimum wage hellhole. What progress are you making? None. Oh, and by the way, does someone in that realm want to answer me this? Please explain this to me. If women these days have it so bad, in this systemically racist and misogynist and sexist world. Why do you want to be one so badly? Because as a bio -wom, I gotta tell you, the systemic stuff is cake compared to the biological sludge that us women go through in our entire lifetimes. And believe me, no man or make-believe woman or even woman really wants to go through that mess. So yeah, get over yourself. Just because you've decided to be what you are doesn't obligate anyone else's concern, approval, or even respect. And acting like vinegar to folks about it will never produce the results you're demanding. You can't expect others to speculate while you wait for them to be wrong. I do hope you enjoyed my video today. I got a little out of hand, I'm sorry, not really. <laughs> These people do actually piss me off, and this is the kind of logic that is ruining our country. So, if you like my work, please make sure you give us a like, a subscribe, comment on this. I'm sure you people have opinions, and that's what you'll be doing on my call-in talk show come December the 2nd. I start going live, don't forget about that, December the 2nd, 7 p.m. Central Time. That'll be 8 p.m. Eastern Time and 5 p.m. Avocado Time. So make sure you stay tuned. I'm still going to have a weekly video on every Saturday, but we're going to do some live shows and hopefully I can get you to tell me what you heard. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time.